How are you doing financially? I've been broke. I've been broke since 78. <laughs> no. What do you mean, no? What do you mean you've been broke since 78? I don't have, we don't have money. You think athletes have money? Hey, you made a fortune during your football career. No, dude. The people signing the check have a fortune. Well, okay, it's all relative, but to, you know, 99.9% .9 of the population, you were making a okay. fortune, maybe not compared to the billionaire okay. NFL owners, but 99% of the population. Where I'm from? A, right. I'm not rich, or I'm not well, I'm, I'm well off, if that's what you say it. I'm well off. And you're still well off today? Yeah, I'm cheap. You haven't followed me over the years? Hey, your friend uh, Trent, who I was talking to, said, um, you know, when you guys will go out to lunch, he will, mm -hmm. he will force you to let him pay okay, sometimes. Yeah. But everybody else, you pay for, so you can't yeah, be that it, cheap. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was weird. It was weird, but I am cheap. the way I move, the way I live, the lifestyle I've lived over the years. If you followed me, even if you're a fan, you know, like I've always shown small instances. Like for instance, on Hard Knocks. Shopping at Claire's. My jewelry has always been fake. Rolexes, diamonds, everything is cubic zirconia because it all shines the same when the light hits it. If you already have money, there's no reason to buy anything real, which I've tried to explain well, you numerous like times. You had a dozen exotic cars, didn't you? Or, you know, a dozen cars, some of which were exotic. Me? Yeah. I had a Ferrari, I had a Lamborghini, and a Phantom, all which were bought with TV money. Okay. What, what is it like, though, when you know, the, the football checks obviously stop coming because you're no longer playing, but the kind of day-to-day -day living expenses remain the same. That um, My living expenses, my, my only overhead was child support, which is structurally done between myself and the mothers. Okay. That's my living expense. That was always, that's, 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 that's all I have. I didn't have a house here, I didn't have a house there. Like, you don't understand how simple I really live. You know, there's a perception and then there's reality. So it was important to you to make smart financial decisions over the yeah. course of your- Yeah, I did, what, I what, did early. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't make any extremely bad ones because I didn't do any of those ridiculous investments. Mm -hmm. I didn't put money, like I was, I was extremely safe in, in a sense and didn't do anything crazy. What made you realize you needed to make those smart decisions? I don't know, I went through a phase. I went through a phase. That phase of mine was only two years. It got boring. Because the things that people like to do, I'm not even into it. I don't drink alcohol. So I'm not in the club popping bottles and spending 50K for a group of, group of people. I didn't have an entourage. The entourage that I had didn't even want to deal with me growing up as a kid and definitely didn't want to surround themselves around me once I made it because of the attention that they brought. So I didn't have to spend on them. So where's my money going? It's really nowhere for it to go. I'm not trying to live up to society standards. I was an oddball when I was playing. I didn't want to fit in with anyone else. Everything I did, I wanted to be over here on my own. I was completely different. And so, which is why I keep trying to explain how my transition really wasn't that difficult because I wasn't living crazy when I was making it. Why do you think the perception out there was different? Because I made it that way, the way I played, you know? The interviews, the, the, the celebrations, you know? The mainstream media was able to, uh, you know, sort of build up this perception to the masses on this is the way I was when, you know, behind closed doors, I'm nothing like that. Which is why I would love when Twitter came along because it sort of knocked the middleman out the way. Best lesson you've learned over the years about money and finance would be what? Money and finance, the best lesson. Just save it, period. It looks better coming in than going out. That's always, that's always, that's always been my thing, always. For more clips from this interview, visit GrahamBensinger.com.